The most accurate in Central Kentucky. Welcome back on this Friday. Of course, we want to go right to the temperatures because take a look at the 24 hour change compared to yesterday morning. Yesterday morning, we saw temperatures in the 30s. This morning, it's a bit different. In fact, we are 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning here in Lexington, 14 degrees warmer in Jackson, 10 degrees warmer in London. It's still cool out there, but not as cold as yesterday morning. So I think you can get away with just wearing a light jacket today. But we'll take a look at the temperatures. We are currently sitting at 52 degrees here in Lexington. You can see a little cooler in Danville at 48 degrees. It's 50 for Somerset, 44 in London, 43 in Stanton, 50 for Jackson. So we have a mix of 40s and 50s out there this morning. No 30s, so that's a positive note. Now some locations are right around the average low. That is 44 degrees. I do want to take a look at the average high. That is 64 degrees. We will be slightly above that for today. In fact, we'll see temperatures topping out in the upper 60s, so quite comfortable out there. But we are in store for a big change as we head into the weekend. We'll be seeing temperatures probably 20 degrees cooler as we head into the weekend. And that's all thanks to a cold front. The wind speeds are going to be thanks to a cold front as well. They have been picking up since that front is approaching. And we are currently seeing a wind speed of 14 miles per hour here in Lexington, 12 miles per hour in Richmond, still breezy as well in Moorhead and Flemingsburg. And winds will be picking up a little bit more as we head through the afternoon. So it will be breezy out there, and we could actually see some wind gusts around 30 miles per hour. Now, in addition to the winds increasing, we'll be seeing clouds moving in as well. We'll start off with a little bit of sunshine, but clouds will gradually increase as we head through the day, all thanks to this cold front. Now, it's also going to give us a chance for some showers, but it won't be until later today. It looks like a good portion of the day we will be staying dry, but then by this evening and definitely tonight, we will see that chance for some showers. Now, the bigger story with this cold front will be the much colder temperatures settling in behind it. Today, ahead of the front, not too bad. Again, we'll be settling generally into the upper 60s, but behind that front, we've got 40s moving in for the weekend. But here's a look at the future cast. For this morning, we're going to start off on the dry side, seeing sunshine, so you will want to grab some sunglasses. But we will be seeing clouds increasing as we head through the afternoon. Still looking to stay dry until later in the afternoon. We could see a few isolated showers. And then tonight, we will see a better chance for some of that rain activity. We could see some more moderate showers at times. And again, this is thanks to the cold front. With the colder air moving in behind that front, we could see a little bit of a changeover, so maybe a slight mix with some of those rain showers by tomorrow morning. And then we will start to see some drier conditions as we head into the later half of your Saturday. So it's still looking okay for any Halloween plans out there. But again, tomorrow as well as Sunday, it's going to be on the colder side. We'll be seeing those temperatures only topping out in the 40s. So I do want to take a look at the weekend for your Halloween weekend. Again, temperatures generally around the mid 40s. A better chance for some rain showers on Saturday. And we could see an isolated shower on Sunday, but mainly dry. For today, though, we are going to be seeing those showers arriving late with increasing clouds. It will be breezy with temperatures in the upper 60s. Tonight, temperatures will drop into the upper 30s. A good chance for rain showers and possibly early mix for your Saturday morning. Here's a quick look at the seven-day forecast. Again, warm today, not so much as we head into the weekend. And we are going to be seeing 50s lingering into next week.